This is Project Based Learning. Here, two classes of high school students are to be trained together on how to use many tools and devices of science from chemicals to probes to pH sensors. As the project progresses, we will see how to conduct a safe science experiment, obtain readings from hydrogen monoxide and other sources, and ultimately, how to conclude the accurate state of H2O in a nearby water stream. Mr. Charles Pineal himself will be leading both teams. As for the former instructor of the Adoptive System program, Lori Forrester is here temporarily to walk us through the tutorial on how to get started. With Team 1, there is I, Eddie, Tim, Shaquille, and our buddies Nick and Jackie. Along with Team 2 are Ryan, Danielle, Robert, and a few others who unfortunately were not available at this time, but will be soon seen later. After training is complete, both teams are dismissed and ready to go out to the woods and to find their location and to begin their official testing. Later, Team 1 is ready as they pack up their needed equipment and head on out the back door and make their way to their destination. Something important when attempting experiments such as this one is finding a good location that works well with what's needed. Location is highly essential to an operation like this. One's found. All right, this is, this is where the OI expert comes in. I don't think this is an off-road vehicle. But... Jackie stays behind and takes records of the air temperature. Yeah. Okay, so you're recording temperature, right? Yeah. yeah. We have to make sure we have our glasses and our gloves. Got some new pros. One's found. The team unpacks and suit up appropriately for the testing and begin. Once things get started, Nick runs readings on the water temperature. Very helpful in order to know just how to deal with it. Mr. P here is checking the pH with his instrument to see how close we can get to our reading with our chemicals. But he's got an instrument that gets all of our readings for us. Afterwards, Tim gathers a sample of the stream and tries to calculate the pH level in the water. Filling up bottles so that we can check the pH and then dissolve some oxygen. Okay, so what we're doing is right now we're in the process of getting our second measurement on our pH level. So it's a little bit darker at 6.5. Once done, Tim must repeat this test a few more times and with different chemicals to be sure of every reading he gets. After the results and data collected by Team 1, now it's time for Team 2 to continue the process and complete this step in the experiment. They do some of the same chemical mixtures and samples as Team 1 does, but one of the members accidentally spills the chemicals out of his container. Kick the box, guys. That wasn't helpful. If you want to do labs, if you want to show that you're capable of doing labs like everybody else, you've got to behave, you've got to do stuff conscientiously. Fool it around. Not out here. We're dealing with chemicals that can hurt you. We're dealing with expensive equipment. We've got a limited amount of time. Yes. Keep focus. They learn just how serious a slight mistake can be and set an example that anyone can learn from. Finally, Team 1 is back into action to obtain final data. This time, it'll be a bit more lonely for poor me. As you can see, me, Mr. Pinion, and Nick are the only ones available for the project today. Shaquille is apparently injured and had to go home or just sick, and Tim is just unavailable at the time, so we're pretty much on our own for this. Also, there has been storms in between now and the last time we tested. If we're lucky, our location hasn't been affected much. Team 2 was not able to do anything today, so it's up to us to finish this. But due to the absence of the other members, progress today may be a bit slower than usual. Either way, this doesn't really change anything. We still have a job to do, and so we'll see it through. Today, for the last bits of information collecting, we'll focus more on reading pH levels directly from the water and also testing the stream flow rate and velocity. 
So in the meantime, my job here is to gather intel on the pH levels and the water temperatures. All right, good. We want the water temperature to stabilize at some point. What is it now? It's about 16. 16, okay. The water is 16 degrees, which is of normal temperature. So far, so normal. Now Nick's job is to get readings on the flow rate and velocity of the stream's current. This will give us a good idea on how high or low the source of the stream may be. After finding out the rate of velocity the stream has, it appeared to be of normal speeds, changing in different bodies of water but fluid and runny. No pun intended. What felt like a long day in the woods proved that our nearby water stream was in good condition. This is the information we were striving for. Our experiment and testing is complete. Hopefully some will have learned a valuable lesson in both discipline when testing and also being careful of the nature around them. This has been Adopt-A-Stream project for resource student teams and we thank you for watching this clip. So that it'll stay in there so we can actually measure the oxygen later with another chemical and see the color. So, what is actually being dissolved in here? Well, you're dissolving different chemicals that bind the oxygen into chemical compounds that are something we can get to when we do the titration. Now, as you can see, I'm putting on my water shoes. <laughs> it's not as easy when you got big feet. Look at my shoes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Swagged out. Oh, yeah. Six, seven. Eight. What was that? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Here is. Oh. I didn't fall. So right now, after all this has dissolved, we're gonna take this sulfur acid and we're gonna add eight drops, and we're just gonna. We're gonna take this sulfur acid and we're gonna add eight drops. See, that's what I'm talking about, right there. Our magic number of eight. Okay. <laughs> See, that's bullcrap. Go off onto a journey into the wild of the unknown. The wild! <laughs> Learns from the student. A great learning opportunity.